Hey there, thanks for watching. Today is Tuesday and I am coming at you with five tips to help bump up your side hustle game. So for those of you who don't know, I have a nine to five job and I'm so super grateful for that, but it basically covers my living expenses and not much else. And while that keeps me very firmly exactly where I am, if I want to make any progress on this debt-free journey, it will have to come through expanding my income and most likely through my side hustle. So here are five tips that I'm actually currently implementing to help bump up and grow those side hustles. So I've spoken about this before for just for a review. My main side hustles are eBay, um, my music lessons, and then occasionally I do like performances for pay. Um, I'm also working on kind of getting some other side hustles up and running, like standing them up, and I will be talking about that. I can't wait to share those with you in the future. Um, but it's kind of tough sometimes to, to think about how you're going to allocate your time and your energy. Like, what are you going to pay the most attention to? So these are five things that I try to keep in mind whenever I decide where to put my energy um, and focus on my side hustles. So number one, just get it done. Because I find for myself, my biggest enemy is perfection. And I will hold off on doing something because I feel like I can't do it perfectly. So case in point, um, I have an eBay store and I've shared some videos about like how I do eBay for me. And some, I shared the name of my eBay store and someone pointed out there like, your pictures are terrible, blah, 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 like your finger. And they're absolutely right. Like the pictures aren't, some, uh, some of them aren't the greatest quality. There are some wrinkles in some of the pictures. And the comment was like, you should be watching more YouTube videos instead of making them. And I'm like, fair. That's absolutely fair. I'm not an expert and there are tons of ways that I can improve, but for me, getting it done is better than making it perfect. So let me expand on that. I would rather have a listing up and have it be like so-so and have that item sell for like a so-so price than to have that item still sitting in my house, not listed, not selling because I felt like I couldn't do it perfectly. So that's what I mean by just get it done. Like just do it. Don't let perfection or fear of not doing it well enough hold you back because you can always make corrections as you go. And that's my number one tip is just do it get it done. So my second tip is think about the big picture. Where do you ultimately want to end up? What's your, what does your dream day look like? Where ideally would you be spending all of your time and energy? Because for me, I really had to think about that because the primary way I'm making money right now is uh, on my side hustle is eBay. But that's not necessarily how I want to spend my day 5, 10, 15 years from now. I don't necessarily want to be putting up listings and taking pictures and things like that. 10 years from now. So I'm trying to think strategically and say, what can I do right now? Where can I invest some energy and time now that will help create the life that I want to live 10 years, 15 years from now? So that's tip number two is think about the big picture. Tip number three is to network, which you're probably already doing if you're watching this video. You're definitely doing if you're watching this video. So that means like talk to people, learn from people, form those relationships and learn from people who know more than you and f connect with a community. Like that's probably, again, like the third most important thing. For example, that's how I got, um, the job that I have doing uh, performances. I had a friend in a local community group that I did for free just because I love to play. And she let me know about an orchestra that was looking for people that actually paid. So this was maybe five years from now, or five, five years ago. And I, t I followed up on her lead and, and I checked out this group and started playing with them. And I even told her, I was like, I don't think I'm good enough to play with them. And she's like, no, no, they need you, you stay with it. So I was super grateful and super, I super appreciate that relationship and, um, that encouragement, because you never know where that um, that might that encouragement might come from. Tip number four is to never stop learning. Always be teachable. Always be seeking out new forms of knowledge, because that's if you're not learning, you're not growing, and if you're not growing, you're not living, and living things die. So that whole like idea that if you're not going forward, you're going backward. It's actually true. So if you're not learning something new in regard to the side hustles or even your, especially your day job, um, the things that you want to be doing, then you're not really developing. So that's tip number four is to never stop learning. And then tip number five, which I would actually put higher, but 
it's kind of like in terms of things that you should be implementing every day. Um, tip number five is to just keep track. Keep track of everything. Be organized, be disciplined, follow up. Because you never know when a lead or something, an offer might pan out. So just keep track of everything. Keep track of your earnings. Keep track of um, the ideas you had. Keep tra track of the people you talk to and the books you read. So really keep track of everything. And that's because I, by nature, am like a list maker and a record keeper. That's just like what I like to do. But I realize that for some people that doesn't come as naturally or isn't as easy. So I would just say that I never regret keeping track. I never say to myself, gosh, I wish I'd remembered less of this. So, and it might be like tough to do in the moment and how to like, or difficult to organize your thoughts, but I highly recommend keeping track. And that's probably, that's definitely super important for bumping up and growing your side hustle. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. And in, in the comments, if you could share your tips for growing your side hustle or side hustles that you're working on, that'd be super um, interesting. And I'm sure we'd all love to learn from that. So thanks again for watching and I hope you will keep watching.